Hi, Mr. Vaughn. How's it going? Fine. How are you doing today? It's fine. Good. It's good. Good. We'll my name's James Porter. I'm a uh, urologist in Seattle, Washington. I work at Swedish Medical Center. I am a surgeon who specializes in laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery, and the focus of my practice is treating prostate cancer and uh, offering minimally invasive surgery options for patients with prostate cancer. Everything went very well. We were able to spare the nerve bundle on the right side. Okay. Uh, the left side we took widely because that's where the cancer was on the biopsy. We also, patients that come to me know that I do robotic prostatectomy with Da Vinci and they want to find out more about, you know, why should they do this procedure. And what I, what I find when they have these questions is that they want to know about, you know, if I was going to choose surgery, uh, why should I choose a Da Vinci procedure over open surgery, or why should I choose surgery over radiation or brachytherapy. When you compare surgery to brachytherapy, I think one of the major advantages of surgery uh, is that uh, if you do have a cancer recurrence after surgery, you still have radiation as a treatment option down the road. But if you do brachytherapy first and you have a cancer recurrence, surgery is really not a treatment option afterwards because the complication rate is so high and the difficulty in the surgery is so, is so immense that most surgeons are not offering treatment after radiation. I really like the idea that you know, in order to get rid of something, it's really good to remove it. <laughs> so I'm kind of already was predisposed towards, you know, having it taken out. So not only do I treat patients uh, with prostate cancer using da Vinci prostatectomy, but last year um, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It's a much different situation being the patient as opposed to being the doctor. Uh, you go through a, a lot of different emotions and um, Eventually, uh, I knew I had to do something for treatment. I did, you know, toy around with other ideas, but eventually it came down to surgery or radiation. You know, the C's and, and, and brachytherapy were um, were very interesting, but it, it wasn't it wasn't the re removal of the prostate. And in, in my mind, if I wanted to make sure that and make certain that the cancer wouldn't come back. I, I wanted to just remove the gland altogether. When we take somebody to surgery who has had a biopsy, we often see a lot more cancer in the prostate than we would have predicted based on the biopsy. And so I knew with surgery that I was going to get the final word with regard to how much cancer I had, was the cancer contained within the prostate, uh, was there any uh, evidence of cancer outside the prostate. And that was important for me and I guess you could call it the need to know. I needed to know that I could get on with my life, that this was behind me, and the only way to know that was to have the prostate removed. I woke up in the recovery room um, after having the surgery, and, and I, you know, I felt pretty good. Um, I, I could tell that somebody had kind of poked around in me a little bit because there was a little bit of discomfort, but, uh, but other than that, I, I was in pretty good shape. I think it was three weeks after my surgery, I went out to hit some golf balls one day and he told me not to, but I did anyway. And um, somebody asked me to join him. I ended up walking 18 holes. <laughs> so, uh, looking back at that, that was amazing. Here I am walking 18 holes and playing golf after three weeks. My son then uh, were very active together. He said, Dad, I want to go do this triathlon. And uh, so we found a triathlon up in Bellingham, and so the next weekend we went to Bellingham and we actually did a, a half mile swim, a 22 mile bike ride, and a five mile run a triathlon, and uh, felt great. It felt really, really good. And so then he gave me the ultimate challenge. He said, Dad, how about a marathon, you know? And it had been not even a month, or just about a month since I had been on the operating table. And sure enough, he convinced me that we should go do the Seafair Marathon. And so I uh, lined up and took off for a 26.2 mile run. <laughs> it takes a lot out of you. So I was, I was quite surprised at how good I felt. With Da Vinci Prostatectomy, because of the increased range of motion, it's like having your hand, a tiny, tiny hand, in the abdomen, but it's even better. It's more precise than my hand. It doesn't shake like my hand shakes. It can hold things that I can never hold with a normal open instrument. 
and so I can do better surgery. And not only can I do better surgery because of the instruments, but I'm being now assisted by a computer. So this is truly computer-aided surgery, and that's the next level, and that's, that's the future of surgery.